you know, interesting. Fuck it up again. No, I think you did a good job. Don't be so hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. An odd dream in which I uh, had an out of body experience. I actually uh, exited from my body. I was controlling myself using code. Uh, and that's how I managed to manipulate my movements and my, my bodily functions while I wasn't actually within this world. The real challenge is to transmit the idea that's in my mind and to let that take up a physical space. It has to go through my body. My arms have to do that. As a child, I was born and I was jumping on my mother's stomach instead of sleeping. And she used to tell me that I was always upset because I expected more from life. What I love about In the Dark is, you know, you begin to realize that if you couldn't see, that you just touch surfaces and you know exactly where you are all, all the time. Just, you have a muscle memory of your way around there. It's, it's just this world that you just live by touch. You know, you begin to realize that if you couldn't see, that you just touch surfaces and you know exactly where you are all the, all the time. A bit like a typist, not having to look at their hands. And um, when the light goes in to expose it, and then it's this intense, creative little patch here. And then it's off and it's gone. So a lot of what I do is talking, you know, we talk about abstract things, we talk about art, we talk about life, and then we start working together. You know, the atmosphere, the place around you comes into it and appears there. And like something that you heard on the radio today, it becomes relevant to what you're creating. It can be an endless process before anything actually gets produced. And even that is so dependent on a personal mood but so much can get lost. The outcome can be unexpected sometimes. Seeing what sticks, what means something, why does it mean something, and being left with the just getting rid of whatever is unnecessary. It, it makes you want to, to kind of appreciate life and realise that there are seven billion other people doing the same shit that you're doing. Uh, uh, and my dream ended by me coming to realise that in fact I was actually still conscious and I wasn't in this vacuous world of, of nothing. And rather, I was back in control of my own bodies and I could move my fingers and I could move my toes and I could control my body from my brain rather than from an outside thing. There it goes. Yeah.